with them so it, it's there if the way i grew up if it was if i was allowed to talk about cars if 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 i had the platform i i don't think i would do things the way i do them now so that was the main reason be behind that so i've 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 taught myself how to drive so forth i've taught myself how to drive and all that with uh, that uh, citron now one day when they woke up they didn't find me i got out with the ranex they didn't want me to touch the ranex you see they didn't want me to they were acting like my parents this boys hey small boys so i got out hey they were panicking where are you I'm, 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 don't worry i'm safe that time i met the street behind stuck again you know what we call step hill like on a hump i was failing to 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 pass by a hump like a speed hump you know because i was i didn't understand gears that much so i wanted to pass the hump using gear number three so whenever i would do that the car would say Grr -grr -grr. so they came and rescued me but one thing led to another i've learned they've taught me how to drive and then uh i finally decided to get a driver's license i've went through the professional level lessons of driving school and so forth then that's how i actually got my license now july i remember july we bought our first car right there's three of us we have one car now i know how to drive Fosh knows how to drive kuto knows how to drive when kuto gets out me and Fosh don't have a car when Fosh gets out uh kuto and i don't have a car when i get out they don't have a car so we've decided that hey, boys it's best we get a second car we've sat down we've looked at events again we're like boys let's get a second car we deposited five thousand rents we've traded uh the same gbp events we made money uh, i just don't remember how much we made there and then we bought a second car our second car was i'm still trying oh it was a corsa light corsa second car was a corsa light second car that was in august first car was in july second car was in august 2017. now we have two cars now we were always fighting uh because nobody wanted the citron the citron was a pure score core it was not a car that thing that thing was not a car completely so we were fighting because now we have two cars uh, that is a toyota ranex that is a corsa light hatch no was it yeah the hatchback version not the sedan a uh, corsa light it was gold in color right now i have a gold m4 it's levels i come from far ranex was black i got a black g63 a uh, corsa light uh, was gold and i got gold m4 do you see the progress it means that years from now i will have a gold plane years from now i will have a black bugatti you see it's it's levels so you can't just come here now and think you know me i come from far people you guys were not there i was not even famous that time now when the problem we had with two cars was that one guy was always left behind because we all wanted to drive we all wanted to drive so i told the boys that you know what boys uh now i'm tired of playing mickey mouse with you uh, when i want to get out you boys are out because you have a better driving driving experience and so forth so i am going to buy my own car the one that i'm going to drive alone i don't want to see you boys on my car they said okay it's fine how are you going to buy it same procedure find your trading account make money you go buy a car now i bought an audi a4 2007 model understand how old the car was that is third car audi a4 2007 model very old 
Mileage was 200 and something thousand kilometers. I didn't care about kilometers. I wanted a Woody. I wanted a Woody at that time. I wanted a Woody. I got that a Woody. Uh, when I, I, I went home, day one, day two, that Audi uh, had a coolant problem. Remember, I just bought it. Coolant problem already. Already it's coolant problem. I took it to the mechanic locally. They fixed it. Two days, it started leaking oil. I took it to the mechanic. So that Audi, it was the way it was so tired of living. I don't know. Every two to three days, I used to take it to the mechanic. These are the things which you guys don't know that we have been through. You guys just see this nice lifestyle and you think we've had it all. You guys have no idea. We have, we have been through the most, eh? I know I've driven all types of skorokoros you can ever think of. I've personally been a mechanic. I would say I even knew how how to disengage an engine because of that Audi A4. It was always at the mechanic all the time. Now this other one time, uh, this other one time, uh, my girlfriend at that time, uh, she she wanted me to come see her. Né? So it was around two p.m. So I started the Audi. And then I I, I I I was going to see her. Now, when I was going to see her, this is what happened. The the car just the the accelerator just stopped reacting. You see, when you press the accelerator, it didn't do anything. It was like the speed sensors were dead, right? I press, I press, I press. That cars are making that they are they are they are uh, barking, they are hooding that I'm blocking the road and all that. And I, I pulled aside, I managed to pull aside and I turned it off and I turned it on. Ah, that car was stuck. Two minutes, now it didn't turn on anymore. Now it didn't turn on anymore completely, 100%. It was not turning on anymore. That is when I've learned the power of financial freedom from that day. I called Kutu. I'm like, boy, where are you? He's like, I'm at the house. I'm like, take the Corsa and come to this certain location. He came there. When we got there, the Audi A4 couldn't do anything. We tried jump starting it, everything. It didn't do anything. Anything, I mean. So we called the mechanic guy. He came with a towing truck. He he fetched the Audi and he took it to his uh, workshop, right? Immediately after that. Now, that simply means that I didn't have a car. That's when I learned the power of financial freedom. Fosh was at home at that time. I told Kutu, I'm like, boy, I don't have a car now. And I can't share a car with you. So I'm going to buy a car right now. It was around past three. He's like, Emna, why know you're crazy? You're going to buy a car right now? I'm like, yeah, where's your ID? It's here. Where's your... I'm going to buy a car right now. Like now. He's like, hey man, Emna, you know we plan when we buy a car. I'm like, Kuto, I want a car right now. I have to go see my girlfriend. I want to buy a car right now to go see my girlfriend. We argued, but I won at the end of the day because I told him that if he doesn't let me buy a car, I'm going to take the Corsa. You will not see it again. I'm, I'm going to sleep over at my girlfriend. You will not have a car. So he said, okay, let's go. We went to the shop. We were looking. We didn't know which car we were looking for. And then we found uh, i Hyundai i Hyundai i Hyundai Fresh condition. That was the freshest car we've ever bought. It was almost brand new. It was pre-owned but almost brand new. Better. The mileage was about less than 15,000. It was almost brand new, basically. You know? It even had that smell, that brand new smelling and I bet. Compared to the A4 had dust inside. You, when you enter, you can smell the dust and the number of cigarettes the previous owners have been circulating in the car and all that. So that was, you know, we've bought that. We, the transaction was done around 5 p.m. 5 p.m., we have our fourth car. Remember, the A4 is at the mechanic. Then we went home, you know. So the neighbors... At our street they were starting to question remember we were not famous 
at that time. Social media wise, no, we were not really famous. We were there, but not really famous. So our neighbors were starting to question themselves. They're like, these boys are thugs. But they're like, nah, they look too soft to be thugs. Because you can, you can, I think you can easily see a thug. Like a thug, you can see with the behavior. They, they. So right now we were like small boys. And they were surprised. Because at our street, our house was the only house which the, the, the yard was full with cars and others would park outside. It was the only, only, only house at the street. Only house. You know, they were questioning themselves. Hey, what's wrong with these boys? So the Audi got back from uh, the, the workshop. It was fine now. Now we have four cars. There's three of us. Four cars, three of us. Now that simply means that I decide when I want to drive today I drive the Audi i30 sometimes Ranex uh, Corsa so we were just rotating so it was easier when we had more cars than you understand it was four cars at that time uh, I don't count the 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 Citroen I don't count the Citroen now. Uh, there was a time we decided that, you know what, boys, now we want to enjoy life, you know. So there was a time we were going to Durban almost every day. I want you guys to understand my statement. There was a time me and Fosh were going to Durban almost every day. Does it make sense? Uh, going to Durban every day, it's very, very simple, very so we used to book flights 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock we're at Durban, we eat breakfast, wimpy, we tour around Durban. 6 p.m. we come back to Gauteng, or Tambo, we come back home. The following morning, go to Durban again. So literally, we were going to Durban to, to, to eat breakfast. Then after a person will say, hey, coach is broke. Now I've, I've lived life. We were going to Durban to eat breakfast. Eat, not vacation anymore. To eat breakfast and come back. When we post, we're like, we are in Durban. Then late, we are in Pretoria. Soshanguv. People didn't understand. They thought we were lying. So when we are in Durban, we go live. We're like, which is? We are in Durban now. We will go live again at 8 p.m. We'll be it in Pretoria. Say, Kori. It was like a dream, man. It was a it was a dream lifestyle, you know, having access, you know, you know. So we 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 used to live like that. Now time went by. We were trading, pushing, 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 losing. Uh, the most important part was losing. Uh, there are countless times where we lost money, and literally would be left with like thousand rands and would slowly fund with 300 recover 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 which is why the concept run after knowledge first and then money will follow you like it's following some of us right now it is very important no matter what people say no matter when are you gonna get broke uh there is one thing that people can never take away from you. That is the knowledge that you have. So no matter how many times we've fallen, fallen at that time, we had knowledge to make money. So it didn't matter what people say at, 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 at the hood, what people say about us, what is it that we do for a living, you know. It didn't matter whether we... we, we we, we didn't have money to play around with, but we had knowledge. We had the knowledge. You see, knowledge is the key. Knowledge, once you have knowledge, Corey, right now I know most of the people who are following me, they are, they, are, they are not following me because they are inspired. They are following me because they are waiting for the day whereby they are going to be saying, uh, DJ Coach, uh, the founder of FBK has completely fallen. He's staying in a shack. He has no house. He has no car. There are people who are waiting for that day. Every day, I know. Twitter, they are waiting for me to fall. Even today, 
they are waiting for me to fall instagram there are still people who are waiting for me to fall even facebook there are people who are wishing that i should fall on my whatsapp there are wishing people who are wishing in my family there are people who are waiting for me to fall but here is one thing they don't understand one thing they can never take away from me is the knowledge money gets finished cars can get accidents cars can get repossessed cars can get confiscated houses can be sold houses can be auctioned you could lose houses you could lose cars your businesses could collapse but for as long as you have knowledge you will always bounce back for as long as you have knowledge i'm telling you this right now those who are waiting for me to fall i'm telling you this right now i will fall as you wish i will fall and have nothing zero percent zero rand but with the knowledge that i have trust me which i will always bounce back i will with no knowledge is very important very very important so that's why i always advise my people that it's always best to get the knowledge understand what is it that money will follow money will follow there was a point whereby i was running ne? i was running money was following me money was saying coach we come, come take me it's money that time come take me i'm like eh, no money no 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 money wait eh? There was a point I was living like that. Money running after me. Now, what I mean by that, I simply mean that I didn't even need to work for things anymore. Money would just come. Just like that. I just say the word like this. Money, money will come. Because of what? Knowledge. Knowledge is more important. So, you guys, you must understand that you can never trade and be better than me. That is number one. But you can, tr you can trade and be the better version of yourself. And you can never join Forex and then all of a sudden you are making money. When a self. Even if you are making money, you are going to lose money at the end of the day. The most important thing that you should always run after should be the knowledge. How did I make money? How do I make money? Right? Because I can tell you, 1 million rent is nothing. 1 million rent is not money, people. I know to some people right now, 1 million rent is like a dream come true. But I, I've been there. I'm there. I know. 1 million rent is not money. It's not money. You can't live on 1 million rands. Trust me. You can't live on... It's nothing. Right now, it might look like it's too much. But once you, you reach a certain level of... Certain level in life, you can see that, fuck, a million is nothing. 100,000 is like your, your, your allowance, your daily allowance. Or monthly allowance or whatever the case it may be. But once you know how to make your money... Therefore, you can consist when when one million is not enough, you can make another one million. When that million is not enough, you can make so there is consistency. There's consistency in what you do. You understand? There's consistency. So, so that's why knowledge is much more important. So that's what one thing that we had. So at that time we had like four cars, right? And after getting the fourth one, we decided to go home. And we went home. We showed our parents families and all that um my parents were half shocked and half uh half uh, half proud half shocked half proud they didn't really know how to feel because they didn't know whether what i'm doing is legit or not you know, because my father is a pastor, at that time, now we were starting to get along because I was starting to give him money. You see those parents, I, My mother was starting to get along because I was giving her money as well. So I sat down with uh, my father and I told him about the Forex verse in the Bible. Remember, there's a Forex verse in the Bible. And he opened his Bible and his Bible talked about bread. 
Corre, the same verse which talks about forex in his Bible talked about bread. Uh, something which has to do with bread and so forth, you know. And I'm like, no, let me show you the Bible that I have. So I showed him the, it It was, you know, he had, he had those old ones. I don't remember the name. Now I had uh, good news vision. Is it good news vision? Yeah, good news vision, something like that. So we opened the same letter. It cliches chapter uh, 11, verse 1 to 6. His verse is talking about bread. My verse is talking about forex. Straight, 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 100% foreign exchange. 100%. And I showed him, and then because he's a pastor, he's able to analyze, you know, so he was able to understand that, oh, so forex is in the Bible. And I'm like, yeah, you can see for yourself. That's that's when they slowly started believing that what I do is legit. You know, what I do is legit. Uh, therefore, slowly they have to support me because I'm doing I'm doing good for myself, honestly speaking. That time I didn't have intentions of having a child. Mm, I, at that time I didn't want a child, basically. So yeah. Now, when we went back to 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 social Nguve, we pushed, 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 and we felt a need because we felt like that yard. You see that house we were staying in; it was not big enough. That house we were staying in; it was not big enough for for the cars to park in well. So we've decided to to get a second house. You know, a uh, second house which we were planning that. Uh, we are moving from Kasi to mini suburbs, you know, you know, like the burbs, the burbs. So we we got our second house uh, around October, November. Yeah, October, November, somewhere there, somewhere there in 2017. Was it 2017? Was it 2017? Yes. Yeah, it was 2017. Second house, 2017. Yes. Now. Uh, December 2017, uh, that's when we made history. When we say history, we are talking about our Kasi, where we come from. That's when people started talking about us for real now. That was in 2017, December. So me and my boys, what we did in 2017, December, is that we traded heavily, traded heavily without buying anything and then uh we managed to to buy three cars now keep in mind whether we were buying it cash or whether it was financed it doesn't matter fact remains we would afford so it doesn't really matter what you conclude or what you think so we bought three cars that was a Mercedes Benz C one hundred and eighty. That was Audi A six. That was Audi A four. A six A four C one hundred and eighty. Right. Like that's when our hood, our Kasi, they they stood up. They were like, "Who? What are these boys doing?" Now we went home for December, right? We went home for December, and stories started circulating in the hood uh, they started saying that we are having a snake uh, we are having a snake uh, the snake it's giving us money and so forth we there's no way we can just buy cars just like that something is not right then another story came on the streets that uh, there's a nigerian who owns us uh, basically he's using us as a front you know you, you know such things you know in the hood when when you start doing things which they don't understand they start talking it's it's witches it's what they do for a living it's witches now one thing that i love about my hood is that even today right now my hood still thinks that i have a snake like i have a snake which gives me money and when I go home, they always ask me, uh, Coach, uh, why 
you 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 don't like opening the back of your car for example uh and i would tell them that um nah uh, there is a snake inside just like it's simple i tell them directly i have a snake there's a snake inside then they're like okay so you can see that they're confused whether i'm telling the truth or not but them looking at how i do my things it's like there's a snake indeed so i i, I always confirm their suspicions you know when they say coach why i'm like hey dude my snake i have a snake so i always so that, that's how i i get to to survive from witchcraft because if i have a snake then it means that i'm the greatest witch who's gonna come after me i have a snake are, are you going to, you are a, you are a small witch you, you are a small i have a snake you are a small witch are you going to come and bewitch somebody who has a snake so i i live by that so that's how i've developed to give people what they want if you say i'm renting a car i'm renting a car if you say i'm renting a house i'm renting a house if you say i'm trading a demo account i'm trading i'm going to confirm everything that you think i will confirm that it's true so I've, that's how I, I got to develop and i've learned that the more i confirm what these people say is the more i have peace of mind when they say you have a snake and i say no i don't have a snake they start arguing but when they say you have a snake and i say i have a snake arguments end and then when they say you are renting a house and i say no i'm not renting they say you are lying you are broke we know and then when they say you are renting a house and i say yes i'm renting a house the arguments end when they say you are renting a car and i say no i'm not renting a car they say no you are lying but when they say you are renting a car and yes and, and i say yes i'm renting a car arguments end so i always give people what they they want so that the argument can end because poor people have a problem they don't mind arguing with you about their life about your life because they don't have a life i mean what what else will they talk about so you are the only thing that they can talk about so i always give them what they want so i'm i'm here right now if you think i'm a scam i'm a scam if you think i'm a, i'm real i'm real Corey, basically whatever that you th that that that's gonna make you sleep tonight it's true simple if you think i love women i love women if you think i don't love women i don't love Corey, whatever whatever because i'm tired of having to explain myself over and over Corey, whatever whatever that you think it's fine it's true actually it's not fine it's true believe it mara the truth is that it is what it is the truth is that i'm living my life the way i'm living my life there's nothing you can ever say or do because you didn't put me where i am god put me where i am there's nothing you, you are you are a small boy there's nothing you can you are a small witch there's nothing you can do there's nothing so whatever you decide it's true finish and clear so uh, that's that's just my whole of 2017 as a whole you know that's just my whole of 2017 as a whole that's that's how i i was pushing hustle hustle throughout uh the rest of 2017 so uh looking at time it's almost two o'clock in the morning so uh this was part three we'll have part four sometime that is when i will be going into what was happening in my life in 2018 keep in mind i will still talk about the reality show you see the reality show which was on television that one needs a special episode i will they they love saying that they're, they're taking out files i will be the one taking out files there Don't, just relax be patient i will i will i will align everything i will align everything now i want you guys to to connect with me connect with me uh for the person that i truly am you know if you say coach inspires me you know to what extent am i inspiring you you know you you must not say coach inspires me yet still you don't really know who 
who you are following you know you i i I'm, I'm, i always present myself as as real as i am you know it's either you accept me as as i am or you fuck off doesn't matter you see that that if you do Corey, if you don't accept me as I am, the next person will accept me. If you are a girl and you don't accept me as I am, your boyfriend loves me. I can break that relationship. I can tell your boyfriend to break up with you. You are a bad influence. He will listen to me. He will listen to me. And if you are a guy, you don't like me. Your girlfriend likes me. I can end that relationship in one minute. I can tell her the things that she has never had before. And break up with you the following morning. But I'm not going to do that because I'm a nice guy. I'm a, I'm a very nice guy. I will not abuse the platform. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a nice guy. So nonetheless, thank you guys for, for joining me. It's been like three hours. So I will, I will save the, the video. You'll be able to, to watch it whenever you have time. Uh, but all videos will be deleted throughout July. I'll just see when. Nonetheless, um, thank you guys for the support that you've shown me uh, throughout this year's ups and downs. And I know most of you guys were haters before. I've converted you into fans. It's a good thing. And others were fans before. I've converted them into haters. So it's vice versa and, and so forth. So nonetheless, thank you guys for, for everything. Shout out to all the hustlers. Doesn't matter what what you do out there, anything, any business that you do out there, may the Lord bless you throughout the hustle. And don't forget to pray because prayer is the main reason why I am today. Uh, I don't know what you guys are praying, but I'm praying the Holy God that we all know from the Holy Bible. Uh, so keep on praying and stay blessed all the time. So I'll probably, because today is Tuesday, I'll probably have another live Maybe on Friday or weekend or even next week. I'll see when I actually have time. But nonetheless, um, I'm, I'm actually relaunching my, my music career. My music career as a DJ, as I've already explained in the previous videos, that I was, I was releasing albums and I didn't have the platforms and so forth. So this coming Friday uh, from 12 o'clock, between 12 o'clock midday, and 3 p.m. you can listen to my mixtape at Gagasi FM and this wouldn't be happening had I not been the person that I am today so the reason why I'm telling you this if you are a local rapper or a local producer sometimes you've just got to put hold on your dream and make money when you make money things will open up trust me very very easy you will be surprised so everything is very, very easy for me. It's easy for me to get verified on social media. It's everything. It's, it's, it's very, very simple because of the brand that I've, the power that I've built. So whatever that you do, always remember that money will always run the world all the time. But nonetheless, regardless of the amount of money that you're getting in your life, throughout the process, never lose yourself. That is the most important thing never lose yourself throughout the process nonetheless uh hustlers may the lord bless you haters may satan bless you witches may satan bless you from your boy coach uh thank you guys uh i will see you very very soon much appreciated